What's the video Peter 2? I wanted to make this video pertaining to networking with Windows 10. I was trying to access a Windows XP machine so I could share files back and forth using file and peer sharing. I could not, now I can, but earlier I could not browse this D620 computer which is running Windows XP and I was getting this error, Windows cannot access blah 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 and here's the error code it's 8007035 here's how I rectified this I use this article and I will include a link to this article in this YouTube video description in case you're getting the same error and then you can follow these quick steps first you want to make sure that the computer browser service is running Windows 10 right click control panel system and security administrative tools services computer browser right here mine was set to manual but it was running I set it to automatic just so that I'm certain that when I reboot this computer it would automatically start cancel out of there close that close that then you want to make sure that TCP IP over NetBIOS is enabled NetBIOS over TCP IP on both machines actually on both machines they were set to this other default setting which I will show you now this is Windows 10 we can go back to control panel home go to network and internet go to network and sharing center then on your on your network the one that you're connected to select it it could be Wi-Fi it could be LAN just select it then go into the properties then for TCP IP version 4 not 6 but 4 go into the properties then go to advanced then click on the wins tab this is the setting that allowed me to then browse my Windows XP machine from my Windows 10 machine I had sharing all set up I had file and printer sharing on the XP machine I had a folder shared but for whatever reason I could ping it by its computer name and by IP address I couldn't map a network drive or I couldn't access it in the network tab of Windows 10 you want to set this to the second option enable NetBIOS over TCP IP it was set to the default setting which will use NetBIOS from your DHCP server that could be your router or whatever device that you use to give IP addresses or it, you might not be using DHCP so I changed it to the second one enable NetBIOS over TCP IP click OK click OK again click close click close now I can click close here too now I want to show you on my Windows XP machine it was set to the same setting so you go into control panel on Windows XP go into network connections same thing local area connection or if it's a Wi-Fi connection right click it go to properties go to the properties for TCP IP click advanced then go to the same tab wins tab again even on my Windows XP machine they will set to default which would use NetBIOS setting from the DHCP server I changed it to the second one just like on Windows 10 enable NetBIOS over TCP IP I clicked OK I clicked OK again I clicked close that's gonna hourglass close this window I'll just minimize my remote desktop connection then almost immediately all I did this is off screen but at the right side of my cursor there's a little refresh network or you can use your F5 key I click that and then all of a sudden the D620 which is my laptop running Windows XP it showed up and now it shows up in the network and I can browse it like normal I don't have to necessarily map a network drive unless I want to but I can browse it and look at the files on there 
and also before it wouldn't show up I could still remote desktop connection to it but it didn't show up so I could not map a network drive and then obviously I couldn't browse it and then go to the shares that I have set up and then access the file so it was a big bummer so hopefully this also resolves your issue where you're receiving the specific error which is 0x8007003.5 the network path was not found when you try to map a network drive on Windows 10 it, it might also be a problem with Windows Vista 7, 8 possibly, possibly, but this was Windows 10 and Windows XP. Adios.